Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome to the unboxing and hands-on of the ZTE Blade 10. Now, first thing I want to do is give a big shout out to ZTE, the Z community, for sending this device out to me so I can share with all of you. So thank you very much. Now, the ZTE Blade 10 is going to be retailing for $179 unlocked. And there's also a visible wireless version of this, which is called the ZTE Blade 10 Prime, which is also $179. All right, so removing the top portion of the box, I'm going to go ahead and share with you all the contents that are included and give you some detailed hands-on with this device, share with you the features, a complete walkthrough of what this device has to offer. All right, so we got this booklet here. Opening it up is going to be your tool there, which is going to give you access to your SIM card tray. Then you also got some documentation to the inside, a quick start guide, and you also got a QR code, which you can go ahead and scan. All right, so let's see what else we got here. So we got the ZTE Blade 10, you know, packaged nicely right there in the box. So, you know, it's been a while since I've actually reviewed, unboxed a ZTE device. So I'm pretty excited. I'm glad I was able to get this opportunity to share this device with all of you on the channel but as you can see there zte blade 10 packaged very nicely what i want to do next is put this device off to the side because i want to share with you the rest of the contents that are included in the box all right so you got these two smaller boxes here so opening this up and this is going to be what looks like your charging cable so let me go ahead and see if we got type c on the zte blade 10 and yes we do we got type c data cable there so you're going to have type c charging on this device so we're going to take a look at that second small box here so this has to be the charging brick as you can see there there's the charging brick and this is going to charge at 5 volts at 1.5 amps so that's what you got there and let's get to the device itself here let me go ahead and remove the protective seal that we have wrapped around the blade 10. all right so i got that protective layer off and this has a really nice look to it nice stealthy all black colored absolutely love the way this looks let's go and take a look at the right hand side so you got your volume rockers up on top and beneath that is going to be your red colored power button i love the fact that this does have a red colored power button that's so awesome all right let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom there so a single down firing speaker and then you also got your type c charging port and then you have a small microphone to the bottom on the left hand side is going to be your tray there which is going to be able to house your sim card you can also input a micro sd card to expand storage and then up on top you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as a noise cancellation mic and taking a look at the back of the blade 10 you're getting a dual camera setup so a 60 megapixel f 1.8 aperture and a secondary 5 megapixel f 2.2 aperture camera there as you can see it does protrude out um, to the back there it is a nice camera setup there you got your led flash and they also got your fingerprint sensor to the back of this zte branding and this nice stealthy black color has a nice gloss to it it looks really nice this device actually feels pretty light in the hand as well it is housing a 3200 milliamp hour non-removable battery and overall this just looks very sleek it looks very nice i love that red power button to the side there it looks extremely nice you're also getting a plastic back so this looks kind of like glass but it is just like a glossy plastic looks really nice though all right let's go ahead and power on the blade 10 there we go zte powered by android so i'm going to go ahead and get this all set up ready to go and then i'm going to give you some more detailed hands-on give you a complete walkthrough of all the features that is packed into the blade 10 and there is that boot up animation there zte all right, so I'm back. I got the device set up. Um, so we are in the lock screen here, and I just want to point out to the bottom there, you got quick access to your voice assistant, your unlock option, and then also quick access to the camera. Let's go ahead and swipe into the display. That's going to get us into the home screen. Now let's go ahead and talk about this display here really quick. Now this is a very nice looking display. It's 6.3 inches. It's full HD, so 2280 by 1080 resolution, 19 by 9 aspect ratio, 401 pixels per inch, water drop notch to the top of the display there you can see the earpiece right above the front facing camera and that front facing camera is 16 megapixels f 2.0 aperture as well so again a full hd plus display here 82 percent screen to body ratio google search bar up on top weather widget and then also if you go ahead and swipe to the side there it is going to get you into your google feed mine's not set up but you do got that available you also got your google folder right there with your google applications and then you also also got 
add some additional applications as you can see on screen buttons to the bottom if you click to the side there it will hide the on screen buttons you just swipe up and that brings them back and you can hide them anytime you want that's a really nice feature i like the fact that you can hide those on-screen buttons you got facebook pre-installed google pay on board so you know this has nfc packed into this let's go ahead and swipe up into the app drawer now all the applications you are seeing here is what comes fresh out of the box i have not downloaded any apps whatsoever so no type of bloatware or unnecessary applications on the blade 10. you can also scroll along the side there and search for an application alphabetically if you prefer now, i also want to share with you the keyboard so you got the search option up on top as you can see this is how the keyboard looks the layout this is running gboard which is a fantastic keyboard to have and i'll go ahead and also share with you some of the emojis i always include this in my unboxing videos so i'll go ahead and scroll through a couple of these here i also want to mention this is packing the mediatek helio p60 it's an octa-core processor clocked at 2.0 gigahertz let's go and get into the status bar just by swiping down into the center of the display there that's going to bring down your status bar and as you can see you got auto brightness up on top and then you've got all your different quick toggles like wi-fi you got a flashlight option on this bluetooth screenshot uh, power saving DTS sound NFC so there are a lot of great features packed into this as you can see the additional ones they can drag and add up to your status bar right there to the bottom so again some great features that are packed in with all these quick toggles into settings now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you some more features packed into the blade 10 starting off with network and internet so let's go ahead and jump into Wi-Fi because I want to share with you that this can connect to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi so you definitely got that available let's go ahead and see hotspot and tethering you got your vpn options there and then you got your bluetooth and nfc so you can connect this do google pay it's fantastic you got nfc and this device is less than 200 all right let's go into features so you got your navigation keys there so as you can see you can switch up the direction with your back and recent apps button if you prefer to with your on-screen buttons there let's go ahead and see what else you got here so you got the swipe type so which is basically going to be like this pill to the bottom and you can use that or you can have full on-screen gestures if you prefer and those are the three options that you have there when it comes to the navigation keys i'm going to keep it with the on-screen buttons for this video all right so i'm gonna go ahead and back up out of the navigation keys and see what else we got here so you got your screen record option i think that's fantastic i love it when devices have this already packed into the the device uh, and you can also record in high quality so you got your screen record option available on this then you also got your schedule power on and off gestures and motion here so you got the three finger pinch in for a screenshot so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a try here three fingers pinch in just like that you capture the screenshot you even have the scroll screenshot option but as you can see there very easy way of capturing a screenshot on the blade 10 let's go ahead and back up out of there see what else we got here so as you can see a lot of great features auto answer and this is really cool just you know you can enable this feature disable it and all these are just optional you can have them on have them off uh, i like this one here a lot so shake to turn on the flashlight so you can do a little chop action a shake and that'll activate the flashlight and you can also turn off the flashlight just with that gesture so very useful feature packed into the blade 10 it's back up out of there um, so again you have all these different ones to choose from smart cover so hopefully we'll see a smart cover case in the future for the blade 10. all right let's keep it moving so jumping into display now so you got your uh brightness level there nightlight option adaptive brightness on board and then you have all these additional features to the bottom an indicator light so this this is actually very cool so you got like a led light indicator light so you can enable this for a charging indicator low battery incoming calls and messages notifications let's see what else we got here let's go ahead and go into sound now so as you can see you got all your media controls right there your call volume ring alarm notification sounds and see what else we got here to the bottom there advanced i know this does have the dts surround sound so let's see that there it is dts sound now this is super cool i love the fact that this is packed i think all smartphones should have the dts because this is just going to give you that customizable audio 
that you want in a device. So again, you get that stereo sound. You have the option for wide, in front, or traditional, where it brings the sound close to your head for more traditional headphone experience. Uh, this is just awesome. Like I said, I love the fact that you have this. You got an option for movies, for games, and then you also have some additional ones to the bottom there. And this is just going to give you that audio experience that you can fully customize to your liking. And this is fantastic. And then as you can see, you got additional options there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what else. Storage now. So when it comes to this device here, you are going to get 64 gigs of internal storage. You also have the slot right there where you can input a micro SD card to expand this. So you should be perfectly fine in the storage department, especially with 64 gigs. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we got here. So security and location. So with the Blade 10 here, you got the fingerprint option. You also got facial recognition. So as you can see here with the fingerprint, you get so many useful features with that sensor. So not just to unlock your device, but take a look at all these additional features you can enable with the rear mounted fingerprint. So I'll go ahead and set up the fingerprint print sensor here show you real quick so all you got to do is just press to the back of that sensor and just scan different areas of your finger and this will also instruct you on areas where you need to scan and that's basically it it's very quick very simple to set up your fingerprint sensor you can also add up to five fingerprints on the ZTE Blade 10 here. So you got a good amount of fingerprints that you can add. So as you can see, they're very simple. They also got facial recognition on board and there's this little disclaimer here, you know, it's not as secure as a fingerprint sensor or pattern pin or password, but you definitely have facial recognition on board. Let me go ahead and set this up off camera real quick and we'll test it out. First of all, let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. Let's go ahead and unlock the Blade 10, just like that. Let's do that again. Wow, so this is extremely fast. It's extremely accurate and it works really well as you can see there and as you can see all five of my fingers here testing out facial recognition and let's do that again and it unlocks one more time looking at the device unlock so both work really well fingerprint sensor is extremely fast and facial recognition works really good so both good security features on the blade 10 let's keep it moving here so you got your accessibility option here which i always you know share with you in all my unboxing videos again i try to give you the most detailed information so you know exactly you know what you are getting before you go ahead and make that purchase for your next smartphone digital well-being parental controls you can go ahead and set this up and this is a very useful feature that you have on board you can keep track monitor the usage and you got your z community here now if you're not a part of z community you definitely want to be a part of this community if you own a zte product of any type it's so helpful so many great people there you can ask questions get answers now this device is also rocking android 9 pi out of the box and this also has three gigabytes of ram on board octa-core processor i mean i love everything that i'm seeing here that is packed into the blade 10 all for less than 200 bucks is a fantastic deal and let's go ahead and take a quick look at the camera interface here. I'll take a couple photos to share with you the layout here. Again, a dual camera setup, 16 megapixel and a 5 megapixel rear facing camera. As you can see, it's locking on the face there on that wireless charger, $100 bill. Uh, excellent. Everything is looking nice, crystal clear here with the camera. You got a portrait mode on board. And let's go ahead and go back to the wireless charger. And as you can see, it's locking in on the face right there. You can be able to get portrait photos with the ZTE Blade 10 here. I'm going to go into more detail on this camera as well in my full review and going into the different modes that you have available there like panorama, time lapse, manual controls, a lot of good features that I'm seeing here. And as you can see, I just love how it's just locking in on the face right there. So it has good autofocus. And let's go ahead and take a look at these different controls you have here. So you got some different filters to choose from, which is nice. You also got a beauty mode on board, so you can kind of play with that if you want. And then you also got live photos Wow, so you can have like a couple seconds of your photos and you can kind of view it as like a video. You got your HDR option there and then you got your settings option to the bottom there. And of course, into your video recording, just real quick here, just want to kind of share with you that you also got some different filters to choose from. And you got your flash option, you got your lock to focus. Now this is going to also record in 1080p, 30 frames per second. That is the highest resolution. Again, I'll go into more detail with the video in the full review. 
I also want to share with you this sample photo I took here of the wireless charger there. As you can see, all the detail it captures, the photo just looks really crisp, really clear. Again, I'm going to go into more detail when I do my full review, low light photos, uh, video samples as well. I'll check out audio. And I'm also going to do a gaming test with the ZTE Blade 10. But as you can see, really nice photos that the Blade 10 can produce with the dual cameras. All right, so that's pretty much it. That is my unboxing and hands-on of the ZTE Blade 10. I think this is honestly a fantastic device. I love all the features that are packed in to the Blade 10. I mean, there's so many great customizable features and this display just looks awesome in my opinion it has nice resolution good color reproduction again 6.3 inch full hd plus 2280 by 1080 resolution 401 pixels per inch and uh again all the features you're getting packed into this is pretty awesome, especially for the low price tag of $179 unlocked. You can pick this up on CTEUSA.com. I'm going to drop a link in the description below of this video. You can also pick this up on Visible Wireless. It is going to be called the Blade 10 Prime, and it's going to retail for the same low price of $179. So again, 3200 milliamp hour battery, Android 9 Pie out of the box. You get octa-core processor, 3 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, which is expandable. So so you can input a micro SD card. Really nice build quality here. I think ZTE really knocked it out of the park with the Blade 10. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos. This is Paul Tech. Thank you very much again, ZTE Z community for sending this device out to me. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.